Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and this is actually a bit of a P PSA, public service announcement for those of you who live in Maine and are possibly looking f to purchase a uh, 2018 Nissan Leaf. Uh, I actually just got a phone call last night from Lee Nissan in Thompson, Maine, and they have a 2018 Nissan Leaf that was actually a uh, customer return. For, for whatever the reasons for the return, regardless, it's a it's a uh, new used car. Uh, it only has like 600 miles on it, and they're selling it for 27,999. So if someone is in the market for a 2018 Nissan Leaf and they don't want to go through the hassles of trying to claim that uh, federal tax credit by themselves, you can actually pick one up lightly used you know it's practically new at $27,999. So here I am I'm at Lee Nissan in Thompson, Maine. I'm going to take out the uh, 2018 Nissan Leaf. This is an SV model. I'm going to take this out for a test drive here. I'm uh, going to try out ProPilot Assist for the first time because I had promised everyone that I'd do a review of ProPilot Assist and I never actually got a chance to figure it out in my uh, initial review of the 2018 LEAF, so this will be a good opportunity to give that a try and show everybody what it's like uh, driving a car that can sort of drive itself. <laughs> so hi YouTube, I'm Joe Mendez, I work here at Lee Nissan of Topsom, uh, and I'm a sales representative here. I actually drive a 2018 SL LEAF also, but we'll be testing out the uh, 2018 SV a used leaf with 600 miles on it today. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's do the uh, seat adjustment first here. And that's nice too, because I, I have the uh, mechanical seats. Adjust the mirrors. And I can see, that looks good. I am Bill Hensley, and I'm here at Lee Nissan in Thompson, Maine. And we are taking the all new 2018 Nissan Leaf for a little test drive here. I'm gonna try out ProPilot for the first time because I was never able to get that to work before, but I've had it explained to me now, so I should be able to figure this out. So, first things first, I need to get the system on, and it's this blue button, correct? Yeah. All right, All right so I'm gonna hit this uh, blue button right here, and this is gonna engage the system, so now it's, it's on. Uh, what's the next thing that I need to do? Now you're going to hit the set button down at the bottom. The set just button. Like is it this one right here? Yeah. Okay. And you'll see it picks up so on the vehicle go. ahead of you. Um, you see you have the vehicle icon as well as the, the green icon lights up. Okay. And then if it picks up on the lines, you'll see that steering wheel will turn green also. And okay. And two lines on either side of the vehicle. That and is there anything else I have to hit after that happens? or? Um, in this case, it should all be engaged. So okay. it's all set to go. And there you go. And so now it's picking up on that vehicle ahead. Okay. As well as that. And this is, I can actually kind of just, nope, nope, it was drifting a little bit there. So what, what do I have to do to get it to, or no, so, it is, okay. Yeah, so it has it all engaged right now. There now I go. just lost it because of the lines because got a little too lines. wide. All right. And it looks like I'm set for 26 miles an hour right now. Do I, mm -hmm. what do I Now do you this? can increase it by hitting the resume button, okay. that plus sign, yep. just like in regular cruise okay. control. So I want to get it up to 50. Yeah. And it won't go any faster than that if those people are going slower, correct? Correct. So right. it's using the adaptive cruise control now. So now and you can change around that adaptive cruise control by hitting that button. Right now you have it set to three okay. for the lengths that you want. Oh, yes. So if um, I push that button, that makes it get closer. Yes. But if I have three lines, then it'll ha stay further away from the vehicle in front of me. Exactly. And I can feel it. I can, oh, yeah. Wow. That's... That's insane. <laughs> We're going around a corner here. We're going around a bend, and it is turning on its own. Okay, now, I'm gonna put my full, full disclosure there, there you go. should not be taking your hands right, off while right. you're driving. Bill Hensley yeah. does not endorse that. <laughs> I do not uh. endorse that. But it, it's weird because, like, I can drive and it can drive. I can kind of feel like a little bit of resistance if I try to uh, do something it doesn't like. That is that is weird. Okay, so I can... I'm, I'm just going to... But you still have my, control over the car. Yes, I have control control so like if it feels like it's going that way and I want to go that way all I have to do is really turn it and then I start drifting that but I don't want to do that so there <laughs> go. all right but the, yeah it's, it's keeping me that is that is insane it is keeping me right in in lane oh that is awesome that that it takes some getting used to but uh I would definitely I would definitely warm up to that 
especially on the long hauls, like on the interstate. Yeah. Oh, that is nice because you can kind. Of <laughs> that is insane. I just can't believe that it's actually uh, steering the car for me. <laughs> now, how how much of a grip do you have to have? Because I, I just kind of like have my fingers on it right now. I'm I'm watching because I feel like like. Yeah. So just as long as your hand is somewhat resting on a pad where it picks up on that you're touching yeah. and in control of the car, um, then it can override. I mean, right now it really is controlling the car. I'm, I'm not doing anything. I just have my fingers on here. I'm paying attention because if at like a drop of a hat, I have to, you know, stare away if it, like a, a moose comes out or something, we are in Maine. Um, <laughs> but if, if something uh, comes out of the woods here, uh, but right now, like the, the longer I go, the more confident I'm I am with the car being able to, to steer. Like my feet are not on the pedal, so the mm -hmm. accelerator. I, I'm I just have my feet resting here, like right there. I almost felt like oh no, there we go. I felt I felt it. There we go. <laughs> so I <laughs> on that small bend, you know, I'm I'm steering right now. So is it is it still engaged? It, yep, cruise control yep, it is, is still engaged. Yep, so it has okay. that green light. Um, you'll see the green light on the left yep. hand side. This both the steering wheels are lit up. So it's like you just have to kind of grab it every now and then just so like it knows that you're alive um but yeah yeah and we talked a little bit about how even if you're on say 295 and right. you take your hands off the steering wheel first it's gonna give, give you kind of a loud alert letting you know it increases in sound that gives you two sirens so alert i just got like i don't know a few seconds ago there it was like a like a vibrating like buzz i don't know if that yeah. I was so if that I was the lane much, departure or? warning um, so that's okay. when you cross over the yellow line or the white line ahead that's of us. That's what that was, okay. Um, it's going to give you an alert that, hey, you're crossing over a line at this point in time. You probably want to stay within the lines. That's, um, yeah. Because that's, it, it, it does. It, it, I don't want to say it feels like a ping pong because that's not quite right. And it's only on like those those corners there. But it kind of feels like it, it might go a little bit more this way or that way if, if you're not, like, I don't know. But like right now it's perfect and it's it's straight so i think like on the straighter ways it, it does a really good job just keeping you nice and straight but uh yeah that's that's amazing like right here are we yeah you see it, it went over just a little bit but that's that's still amazing so now we're heading in the other direction and i haven't turned it. okay so it's it's off now so i would just have to re-engage everything like i exactly so when you cancel right. out the pro pilot if you mm -hmm. just hit the cancel button it turns it off temporarily if, if i you hit, hit the brake i hit the brake it turns it off completely okay, same so thing if you completely. hit the the blue pro pilot button. okay so let's let's try this so i'm just gonna hit the blue pro pilot so you just turn i turned everything off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's try this again so i i, I hit so, the blue pro pilot Yep. So now it's on. And now you'll hit the set button to engage and now it. And I hit the set, the minus one. That Perfect. engages. And it already picked up on the two lines. All right. And it's set for 46, I think. So if I bring this back up to 50, and there we go. We're just just like that. Oh, that's easy. That That's not hard at all. It's like a, a two-step, like where cruise control is, you just, you, uh, you engage your cruise control, and then you hit your set. This is engage uh, pro pilot, uh, wait for it to pick up, hit the set button, or am I doing that right? I don't know, but it's, it's like one extra step. That's all it is. It's, it's one extra step above uh, normal cruise control. So that's not hard at all. And you know, you know when it's working because of the visuals down there. When you see the green lines and you can feel that resistance in the wheel because we're going around a bend right now, it, it's driving for you. <laughs> so, but again, it's, it's, it's a system that you, it, it's, it assists you. It's not like autopilot, so I don't want to give that impression to anybody, but it's still very sweet to have. I mean, for cars that don't have it, um, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so now that I've had a chance to actually try it out, that's really cool. I like that. This this is definitely the, uh, the future. <laughs> if you're in the market for a new vehicle, you need to seriously take a look at uh, an electric car, and the 2018 Leaf is definitely definitely uh, has come a long way so this pro pilot is simply amazing and having that range of 150 miles uh, and that's just you know that's the what the EPA range yeah 150 miles for the 2018 leaf this is uh, this is definitely a car worth looking looking at <laughs>